So glad you could join us again. We are joined, as always, by Greg Engert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group, a James Beard Award nominee. The group includes Blue Jacket Brewery. The Arsenal Restaurant is there, too, right down by Nats Park. You've also got uh, Red Apron and the Partisan in Penn Quarter. Greg, it is always good to see you. You too, Brian. What is on tap this week? So this week we have a uh, beautiful beer um, from, I'm going to top this off a little oh. bit because I love the bottle He's condition. He's such a good man. <laughs> really, um, it's true. Classic Saison, and that's what it's called, from Blackberry Farms, uh, which is uh, known more for um, its being at this amazing luxury resort in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. Wow, probably. this is the first ever we've done from them. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. Oh, I've heard of them. Yeah, but this so is now uh, making beer too. Oh yeah, so I mean, you know, what else? Yeah, exactly. So 9,200 <laughs> acres uh, in the Smoky Mountains. It's the most beautiful thing ever, um, and uh, they just do wow. crazy stuff there. So they have a nice 20 barrel brew house. They make uh, small batches of delicious beers. They bottle condition, so that's why you have this beautiful frothy, rocky um, head on the beer. Naturally uh, refermented in bottle, and that's why it's corked and caged. Um, and this is just a just a classic dry saison wow. kind of thing that I think we'd want to drink if we were in mm. oh my Tennessee. But really right there with the nose, and maybe it doesn't make any sense, but I'm transported to Europe. It's, yeah. uh, wow. That is dynamite. This is um, very, very, very much a, um, a bit of a... Uh, uh, I don't know, a tribute, I'd say, to uh, a brewery in um, southern Belgium, in the Hainaut province, right on the French border, called Blaugy, an amazing brewery um, that makes uh, fantastic farmhouse ales. This is uh, the, the same yeast that Blaugy uses, and it has that little bit of a earthy, kind of funky, grassy note to it, and like a little bit of spice and bright citrus fruit. All hops are, are kind of the noble hop varieties, uh, like saws that are kind of spicy and herbal. It's a delicious beer. I think most most beer of the week viewers, all 13 of them, uh, <laughs> probably would accuse me of being in the tank for every beer, which I don't think is really the case. But this is the one of the best saisons, light saisons I've ever had. It's great. It's classic, and it, it really is like an homage to the Blagy, like La Manus that they make there. It just tastes so much like it. Um, it's dry. It's semi-dry. It's not fully dry, but it's got a little bit of malt character left over in the end, um, effervescent, um, beautiful on the palate, refreshing. That's a beautiful thing about Farmhouse Hills Saisons. The way the hops, the malt, the yeast, and the effervescence work together, you can mindlessly drink these for refreshing and f refreshing character and, and flavor, or you can really uh, pay attention to their aromatics. It's so complex and the flavors on the palate. It's, like, it's a, kind of a beer for um, any day, all days. Blackberry Farm, uh, as we were mentioning, is, is well known, but how long have they been making beer there? Been over a year now, well over, over a, year. a year. Because in fact, um, there's a, a great organization. Um, I mean, th but my point is, is that's, it's phenomenal. Oh, They've phenomenal, yeah, absolutely. And they just started distributing um, uh, outside of uh, you know basically the little the, the resort itself and the area around it, um, so we'll see a little bit more of their beer just in bottles for now, which is great. But I was first introduced to these guys in um, at the Good Food Awards, which is a fantastic um, program that happens out in San Francisco every winter, um, and, and they, they they award really great um, locally made in, um, foods like well beer and charcuterie and cheese and things like that from all over the country. Blue Jacket was lucky uh, to win two Good Food Awards for a couple of our beers. So when we were out there, Blackberry Farm had won as well for this very beer. And so we got to uh, got to meet, talk to those guys, and uh, taste the beer, which is uh, really great to have wow. now. Fantastic. Um, what's amazing yeah. is, is as we reach the end of the national season and some mystery about whether uh, they'll go beyond the regular season, you, you should get down to Blue Jacket and have a lost weekend which is a great beer, and and you guys have some amazing saisons there. As well. Yeah, we have some good stuff going on. Wouldn't you? Well. Couldn't you pair this with just anything? Yeah, that's the point. Again, like it's like <laughs> so I was saying, like it's Hamburger, versatile. You can pizza. drink them. Yeah, you can drink it. Like you know, for for lunch, you can drink it for dinner. You can drink it for complexity or just for refreshment. Um, it goes with everything. But I, I keep going back. Though to me, 
What I love about this beer is like, it is great with stripped down flavors of like some French cuisine. So I like charcuterie of any kind. Triple cream cheeses like brie and camembert, but also like wash rind cheeses like a poisse, fantastic with this. So you got your meat, you got your cheese, shellfish, um, raw, steam, doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like it's awesome with lobster tails. It's great with oysters. Um, fantastic with roast chicken, simply prepared yeah. pork dishes, you name it. How about goat cheese? Yeah, it, awesome. Would it be good cheese. with goat cheese? You don't like it. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Maybe it would make goat cheese more palatable for you. No. Wouldn't Not happen. a chance. Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.